I got involved because uh, if you want change, you work for change. You put your shoulder to the wheel. I see uh, the union as part of a larger movement uh, uh, nationally in defense of the, the middle class because with the cutbacks and the austerity thinking that's going on, everybody is, is being hurt except the upper echelons. And uh, I think the unions is, one of, is the bulwark of the middle class, one of the bulwarks. And if, uh, so being involved with the union uh, is, has ramifications well beyond just how much money you get and what the benefits are to you. It has a benefit to the middle class in general. And it also helped me to um, realize a lifetime need to make things better for everybody. And, and VSEA helped me to do that for state employees. I tell everybody to join the union. I always did tell everybody to join the union. Um, it, it really, it, membership um, and, and engagement is what makes for success. I've spent a lot of time, a lot of effort. I, I have made the most wonderful friends you can imagine. It has made me a much more confident person, a much more uh, in, educated, a much better educated person than I was before. Being um, from a background, my mother worked for the state of New York and was also a president of CSEA back then, uh, the year many years ago. Uh, I've been involved with unions in the Burlington Police Department and also decided it probably would be a very good opportunity to join VSEA and continue the service. Um, you, need, you need to stay on top of things, you need to stay engaged. Um, the unions are what really seriously what brought you the weekends and vacations and all of the other benefits, the sick time and the sick leave and the personal leave and all of the things, the holiday pay, the things that you would not have had without the union and it, you, if you do not stay alert. You can lose all of those things. Belonging to VSEA is important because they watch out for um, uh, benefits, uh, your wages, and uh, working conditions. And uh, without them, you really don't have much say in how things go. Uh, also, I think a union has a uh, perspective on things that uh, individuals don't have. So, for example, if you're in an isolated uh, work situation where you're alone, you may have a problem, you may think that uh, that's unique to your situation, but uh, if there's a union there, they may be getting calls from all over the state saying, same thing is happening here, 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 and here. And uh, it is an issue. And you may let it slide, but uh, uh, if you have a union, there'd be a different response. You know, the education that I got from VSEA, the, the realization that one person can make a tremendous difference if they work with others, they learn what needs to be done, and they choose the right path and the right direction to meet their goals. Um, people have to pull together. Um, to pull together, they have to know what the issues are, they have to know what's going on. Um, so there's, there is organizing to be done, but it's engagement with your fellow workers, engagement with um, active activists in the union, find out what's happening, find out what you can do to help. Um, make your life better by becoming active in the union. And uh, many of us were committed uh, to organizing on various issues, and we decided it was time to try and shift the SCA from being a service model union to an organizing model. That at this point in time, we've taken a turn to uh, the organizing model, meaning we, as the employees and the retirees, are taking charge of our own um, future. And if we all do that together, then we are going to uh, be winners. I think a lot of members still view VSEA as kind of like an insurance company in the sense that if you get in trouble or are threatened somehow by your employer, someone's going to parachute in from headquarters, a VSEA field rep. Uh, and the members, I think, still need to have more education, more consciousness raising in terms of, uh, no, the steward should be the first line of defense for a whole multitude of reasons. Well, the steward position is, is basically the 
if you want to look at it in the respect of the front line of um, any possible negotiation between um, the state of Vermont, uh, the employer, the specific employer, and the, the, uh, the employee. Uh, quite often if there's a grievance or there's some problem with the, uh, the uh, VSE member, uh, the steward will go in and just basically negotiate um, a happy outcome for both sides. And in that case, it takes um, a lot of pressure off having to move such a, a complaint up the chain of command. I, I was a steward most of my working career. I was a steward for SRS. Um, I was a steward at the state hospital. And um, I, I guess I kind of like living on the edge. Um, it's not for everyone. There is a cost um, to challenging management. Um, I always felt that the, doing the right thing was worth the cost. And so I think the role of the steward as kind of a mediator or someone who can um, present the issues to management is a, a really significant, helpful role. Um, and I enjoyed it. I, you know, I did it for years and years and years. A couple of times there were threats to the maintenance workers in the, uh, in the V-Trans garages. And uh, we mobilized the members. They came to Montpelier one night when the legislature was in session. And uh, uh, the men and women in orange flooded the state house, And it was very effective. Uh, we did similar efforts on behalf of brothers and sisters in the Department of Corrections uh, to retain positions. Um, and the vet's home. You know, the vet's home currently, uh, I feel, is stronger than it ever been, but Rome wasn't built in the day. And a lot of the organizing effort to the vet's home uh, began in the early 2000s. I also went to the legislature to testify when um, the staffing got so dangerous that the injuries were increasing um, because they're just, you know, cutbacks, cutbacks, cutbacks. The state is always looking to save money by cutting employees um, and they always cut the frontline workers, not the management. Um, and so we've gotten desperately short staffed at the state hospital and um, with support um, from VSEA went to the legislature um, and testified before several committees and got, um, I think, 40 positions assigned to the state hospital, which I thought was a significant win. I think state government now be, is much meaner than it was when I, when I first came to work. I, I think probably it's, it is this way because of the money issue. I just think that the state of Vermont has managed to get itself into such a state of um, lack of money. They, we just keep paying and paying and paying and there's no money to back it up. So I think we see a lot of privatization going on, creeping privatization. We certainly saw a lot of contracting out during my tenure as VSEA presidency. Um, and a lot of our members testified at the time, uh, workers for the Agency of Human Services, uh, Department of Corrections, how privatization was going to have a uh, negative effect on Vermonters. And you know what? Our brother and sister VSE members were correct. It seems like it's gone back to much more adversarial, um, that there had been a time when there was more conciliatory behavior um, between the state and um, the union members. And it seems now to be more adversarial than than it was for a while. And I suppose like everything else, it cycles. So I, I think right now is not the best point in terms of relations between the state and employees. I think uh, the best way to get involved is with their chapter. Uh, you get to rub sh uh, elbows with other folks that work in that particular region of the state and different departments. So you begin to see what the issues are across the different units and across the different um, state agencies. If someone has reservations about joining VSEA, what I would recommend is that they learn about VSEA. Talk to other members, talk to your chapter president, talk to your steward, talk to your council representative, and find out more about what VSEA is and what we actually do. VSEA is not a part of a national organization. We're an independent union. We are owned and operated by our members. You know, if you do it right and you get some sound advice and proceed um, with respect, you can, you can move mountains, you can change the world. And it only takes one individual to get things rolling. And so I would say you have to do it. And I know it's scary to do it alone, so find some people to do it with.